I want to begin here with green sands because I made a, a positive review, but uh, by now one year late and I'm one of the very uh, rare um, backers that did receive their pledge. Okay, I did pay the five, uh, the five uh, euro for extra shipping. And um, so is this a fraud? You see over a year late and, and they just postponed it another half a year. And, and so um, even so you see it not really working because the software is not really functional. Uh, so I, I want to spend a little bit on, on here, but then I uh, quickly want to go to this other campaign, the Zoom Maker, which really a uh, very, we have already raised uh, nearly $400 uh, with just a few backers. So uh, this might really be the case where not only going against the uh, creator, but also uh, going against the uh, Kickstarter themselves. Uh, and so, um, uh, of course, I would like to make a campaign for fighting fraud. Of course, Kickstarter declined it. And uh, so um, it might be in the end, you see, it's um, if you really pull Kickstarter to court, then it's about to prove their ignorant attitude towards their own backer community. And so I'm not really so um, disappointed that they <laughs> declined my um, campaign because of uh, outside of the scope. Uh, because you see this again proves their ignorance and, and so, but in the end it might really be if we grow bigger and bigger, well then let's do our own um, crowdfund crowdfunding platform. Uh, because you see in the attempt to sue Kickstarter, I, I've already made here uh, um, a few proposals, uh, what to do better. And, and so in the end, I, I want to come back here to this uh, and, and be, uh, to, to um, see what uh, what could be done or how should a platform be th that such, such a failure simply does not happen. Even so, it might not be a fraud, then of course, for sure it's a failure. Uh, and so what to do about this? This is another idea about a better crowdfunding. So in the end, I will come back here to, to, to this. I just want to show you here that, yeah, there, there is this app and uh, it's, but it's not really helpful because um, I, I would need some some warnings. You see that that the water uh, um, some water is needed. Only the the oregano, I think, the, it, it survived. The uh, timian was the second, and first was basilicum, and and so there there should be some software update, some functionality that makes it really useful. I made lots of ideas, but um, the, the developer does not have time. And uh, you see, forty thousand euro, and I guess he delivered one hundred uh, parts. And and so, <laughs> where where has all the money gone? And okay, that's uh, sorry, uh, just green sense. Um, yeah, here he, because you see, they they have this web shop where they offer they they also offer at at, at Amazon, and and so you see, it, it's. <sighs> But their delivery was uh, here, whereas it was January 2020 and the update of January 2021, we still don't know dates for delivery and, and, and yeah, in autumn. <laughs> so of course you see backers are very frustrated uh, calling this a fraud. And, and so uh, that's uh, the thing about you now you see here going to, to the Zoom, Zoom maker <laughs> because um, Every uh, failing campaign sooner or later ends up in the scam zone. So where they be, do not become no longer transparent and, and s s starting to lie. And so you see, don't really see, uh, he, he, he simply says, okay, <laughs> just another half a year um, does not explain it. Uh, but at least he's uh, giving us a timeline uh, that um, somehow maybe <laughs> makes sense. Uh, here another thing for uh, no 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 um, you see uh, uh, just a tip you see I I did only back the the minimal pledge 
and so mostly I see then you see 26 euros so okay I think the shipping or 30 35 euro it's okay you see that's a risk I can take but you see most the backers say yeah it's Amazon it's a shop and then they um, select some some higher pledges and you see and, and so they lose a lot of money so um, it's better on Kickstarter you see if it really works and you be happy to uh, buy a full price later but uh, uh, so that's the, uh, the zoom maker uh, you can go to, to this campaign it, it was right from the beginning it was a, a, a huge backer opposition and that's what makes this campaign special uh, you see uh, here so um, that uh, really intensive uh, opposition yeah and, and, and then Zoomaker they openly no we don't tell who we are because all oh, malicious competitors and so I immediately uh, uh, compl uh, complained as fraud and Kickstarter came ah oh, we've investigated and doesn't violate so that's a rare case uh, where Kickstarter uh, took uh, some responsibility to say okay no um, we have checked it you don't you can trust us that we have checked the creator so um, you can trust that if he's a fraud then well you can go to the police and um, we will give you the details because you can rely on us having checked them you see and so this is a very rare case that's why I'm investing uh, some time on this campaign here to, 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 to build an oppos uh, really an opposition that's uh, intending to uh, and, and it's really impressive because it's only uh, sorry uh, 700 backers or 550, 554 backers and and you see uh, that's a $20 limit it's quite a, a lot and and there's really a lot of frustration there because this campaign it's it's an example of, of a bold fraud they simply went silent there was one update uh, because uh, maybe we <laughs> We uh, had some success in organizing some opposition, so there was one update, but this update did contain um, an old photo from... That's another thing that Kickstarter did allow the creator to issue a, a fraudulent update. And so I, uh, there's a lot of things here that this is something special, so I'm really trying to... And here you see that's the decline, yeah, it's... Uh, uh, is it out of scope and because it's uh, it must be a thing or a finite experience like a performance or event and, and you see that's a campaign here campaign draft we, we, we want to build a, a worldwide platform to help victims of crowdfunding so it's absolutely <laughs> a thing you see it's and I've put everything here on, 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 on GitHub so it already is a GitHub repository with, uh, that can be forked and so everyone can immediately start his own um, project to, to file a, 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 a complaint, criminal complaint, etc. Yes, so this is definitely something that is well within the boundaries of, of Kickstarter projects, you see. And, this, uh, and you know, the other thing that yeah, must be an experience or an event, I mean, <laughs> to follow a, a, a class action or a, a, uh, legal actions against the creators absolutely something that would be <laughs> but still no it's opposite it's out of the scope and I really I, I want to uh, search I would like if someone of you know I'm pretty sure that on Kickstarter in the last years there have been some campaigns about legal assistance legal action uh, and, and, and so you see it's a proof again that of course they don't want a, a campaign uh, that's against themselves but they could have said so in, in, in their rules so okay finally we have the final word if we don't like it then we don't do it but here they really that's they answered okay um, it's um, we are sorry because it's outside the scope and, and so you see this proves their ignorant attitude yeah so here um, you see um, that's uh, some some uh, and, and it, it, it hurts you see it's also important they, they, they um, do not allow us on the platform and this is it's really a silencing uh, our our rightful <laughs> our right to to 
go for legal action. Because you see now, uh, if I go to Indiegogo, I don't know if, if all these uh, fellow campaigners here, uh, if they all have an Indiegogo account. And so uh, it, it will be more hard to, mo to, to get the money from them. Where, and, and the second thing is, uh, here um, I know about four really nice uh, creators from China. Uh, have a little uh, per, uh, private uh, contact, and you see they they all suffer from this uh, reputation damage from this Hong Kong uh, fraud, and so they are always allowed to issue updates with cross promotion. Yeah. So you see, it would be um, if I could, I would ask them, hey, could you issue an update? Um, informing them about oh, some Hong Kong fraud and that you are different and here the backers taking some uh, some action and so 12,000 backers you see that would be really helpful uh, but um, they are not allowed to um, make cross promotion to an Indiegogo campaign you see so there's um, this um, declining um, our <laughs> Our campaign really is, is, is hurting our is silencing us, and so really when it comes to to really pulling Kickstarter to to, to court, it's not really about um, the law. You see, it's it's about to to prove um, that their ignorance, that they are intentionally uh, fostering fraud by allowing. You see, and that's here the, the steps, uh, several steps go to, to get up and, and here the final will be a 30 million dollar civil action because the system is rigged. <laughs> they intentionally rig it that way that a creator can uh, fraud, uh, can make whatever he wants and um, they never have to admit that's a fraud or a failure because that would... Um, uh, would be bad for the reputation we see because they are the commission five <laughs> percent of everything they want to keep it and so uh, that they do not allow us uh, to to make this campaign on their own platform that's another uh, step to prove uh, that uh, Kickstarter intentionally uh, is fostering fraud yeah that's here yeah, I already said this um, let's say uh, allowed the creator to stay anonymous, anon anonymous. <laughs> that's really something special and, and then later they, they said oh, oh no you should have researched the creator before you pledged. <laughs> See that would be really uh, fun to, to, to pull uh, them to, to court and, and you see that's here that's, when, when I come back here to, to, to the green sands. Uh, so I've already uh, added four proposals, uh, really good reasonable proposals from the backer community how Kickstarter could improve. And you see Indiegogo, they have already uh, made this uh, step here. I think this uh, overfunded campaigns do not really get their full funding immediately, but only a, a, a part of it. And only after they have delivered the first batch, then they get the, the rest of it, you see. And in this case, you see the 747 overfunded. They could have issued a 86% uh, refund and, and so totally acceptable. So they're really, uh, it's easy to, to make Kickstarter a, a better place. And if they <laughs> ignore and ignore and they continue to allow this fraud to happen, that uh, I think no, no judge, no attorney and uh, these 12 angry men um, <laughs> deciding on, 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 on a on a case you see they will have no sympathy at all and it only really needs our courage to to, to bring it to court and and if we really you see that's here these these several steps it's uh, the strategy is to go bigger and bigger and bigger and so if we really end up to have to file a class action for 30 million dollars well then we have already won anyway <laughs> because you see uh, by now i see kickstarter has yeah and, and here, so um, these are the four proposals. And so uh, I want to uh, conclude this chao chaotic with, with all these data. You see, I don't really know uh, why, uh, why the, the plants are dying. Is it too much water? Is it too low light? And so there should be some warnings. You see, uh, oh, you have to water your plants or uh, you have to. And, and so it would be quite easy. But you see, this is close to us. People are complaining about the, the light condition, but 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 I I would say see if if this, the light is too low to get these sensors uh, uh, here. There, there's a, a VLAN hub 
uh, then uh, well your plants will die anyway anyway so this is okay uh, i don't think battery is a good uh, good idea but here you see you can buy this here uh, this is nice for for one for one dollar from aliexpress uh, these is nice solar cells and so there uh, could be uh, some 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 plug here uh, if you really want but the real problem problem i think is really the, the software and and so this uh, i want to conclude this uh, an idea and, and this is also something special i could put it uh, now i think i will publish it and so in the in us i would have uh, one year to file a patent on it and if we really uh let's stop this here if we really um go the long way and and have to make our own crowdfunding platform because uh, you see indiegogo might also decline it because uh, there are also a lot of frauds of on oh, no, no. Lots of fraud on Indiegogo, and 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 so this must, might be uh, fearful that well, if we really succeed with raising money against Kickstarter, we would have no problem to raise money <laughs> for Indiegogo. Uh, and and then uh, you see, as I said, you see lots of ideas. I would like to implement them, and so, okay, I could no problem problem program a crowdfunding platform myself in a few weeks. And there's this idea uh, that um, that's uh, applic that applies here. You see, it's not really a fraud. Yeah, the creator he, he did achieve what he wanted to achieve. He did ship to some of their his backers, but uh, it's uh, quite common. You see, Tico uh, also um, shipped um, the first uh, batch and then went bankrupt. And and um, the I think even the oh, sorry. Uh, they sooner or later run out of money and and so this is the idea um you, you can only can take action if a campaign has failed so when has it failed and there is no clear um line that's given in the rules and so they simply say okay uh, shipping postponed half a year and then okay <laughs> they are not a fraud and and so but it, it's still you see they they said okay uh, delivery date should be uh, january to, uh, 2020 so a year ago and and so i see uh, it's a simple rule so if if a campaign is half a year uh, um, over the original delivery date and they have not delivered the 50 percent then this uh, campaign is officially declared as a failure uh, and and so the, the nice idea is it would be somehow a gamification. You see, it's it's uh, it's uh, fun to watch uh, the deadline, and because after it has failed, uh, and that's the idea that um, if it has failed, then everything must go open source. So you see, if, if here this nice creator from, from Germany, um, he was confident to deliver, and and so he did not deliver, and so now um, you see those that have received it they cannot make any use of it because closed source you see if i and and that's the thing it's it's really it would be a, a legal contract so you see if you would go to our crowdfunding platform and then you agree that um everything that has been made um, everything made prior to the campaign and, and also with the money then has to go open source and you see, it's it's a German, and I'm from Germany, uh, so it would be for me n not such a big problem if there would be a contract. You see, so give, sending him an invoice, uh, uh, not an invoice, a, de a deadline. You see here, this is a product, and there is some software <laughs> inside this uh, inside this line, inside thing, and so I have the legal right to uh, obtain what software is in here. And if I would have the source code, then yeah, I probably would be able to 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 compile an, an open source uh, uh, APIs and and, and 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 would be continue and so so it's okay. People back creators would say, oh no, I would rather want to go to Kickstarter because I, can, I have no applications at all and I can can keep everything. But you see, it's it's a wrong mindset. You see, um, creator wants some money to make something real. He goes to crowdfunding, then we um, give him the money 
And and what does he give? He only yeah, some pledges maybe somewhere. And if it doesn't, well then <laughs> it's your fault. And and so you see, yeah, he can keep everything that has he has he has developed. But um, then he must um, fulfill his pledges. And if he doesn't fulfill his pledges, then um, everything that um, was part of this campaign becomes a, a community. And here you see this 40,000 euro. Um, I don't really think that um, they, I guess a uh, hundred of, of, of these kits ha ha has been delivered. Uh, and, and so uh, where has this money gone? And if, if there would be really so, this is a deadline, now the campaign has failed and, and now uh, everything must uh, be uh, returned to the Becker community, then we would have the right to, to really um, say, okay, here's deadline, 10 days, we want to see where the money has gone, because that's our, everything that the money has been spent on is now ours. And, and so there would be really a legal basis uh, to, to really, um, uh, to, 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 you see, it's, it wouldn't then be a failure. It would still be, uh, yeah, he developed the project and we have now the source and uh, there's a manufacturer, we, 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 we will get the contacts to the, who, whoever Chinese uh, nice company did manufacture, had, has the molds for it and, and then we could continue it with our, uh, our community. This idea is already a bit uh, older from this X machine 3D printer um, that um, it must not be really uh, now we um, fight against the creator. The creator could uh, still have a minor minority or he could buy back his uh, all his um, proprietary rights if he then uh, would repay us or so. So there's really a, a, a lot to make uh, um, these failing campaigns that are not a fraud, but uh, are still um, useless, um, to, um, turn over to, to something that's really um, blossoming. And, and, and so you see, that's this simply deadline. You see, okay, there must be a date, and from this date on, it's, it's a failure. Even so, the creator is still trying, and, or if he may still deliver, but okay, it's still, it's a deadline, it's failed, and now the backers have some rights. Okay, uh, this is a, a bit um, of motivation. You see, um, this might indeed happen if, if we are forced to do our own, own crowdfunding platform because even Kickstarter does not allow us to, to make, a <coughs> make it on their platform. And so, yeah, please <laughs> already spread the word. You see, uh, as I said, it's, it's a slow step, um, creating bigger and bigger, and I do not really want to now immediately go to Indiegogo and then run the campaign because mm, it, it might not be a success. And so there are some steps before, and, and so I really would um, have the um, outside um, community, uh, not only these uh, Zoomaker backers, but also um, because a lot of these who, who, who want to um, add their $20, their reason was really it's they are so frustrated of Kickstarter. It's not only this campaign, it's really, it's, it's Kickstarter. And there are hundreds of thousands of other uh, really uh, Kickstarter backers who will never return to Kickstarter, or who did part of a failure or fraud. And so it, that should be some out, out, out supporting community outside really to, to make it really um, go. Okay, thank you.